Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. I wanted to try out binding a toy grade quadcopter to my Jumper T16 and an offer came up on takealot.com for this same uh, X5C1 which after finding a few websites I found that it can be linked to the motor protocol unit in the Jumper T16. So here's my video of the settings I used to get it to work. This is not a review of the quadcopter because there are plenty of videos out there you can go watch about the quadcopter. But I wanted to give it a try and see how difficult it was to set up the quadcopter because obviously it doesn't have a receiver that you can switch on and off to bind to and you don't have access to the flight controller. But anyway, here we go. Here's the video. Let's have a look at the settings I used to set up this toy grade quadcopter with my Jumper T16. I'm going to open up the latest backup of my models and settings. There's the model. In the setup section, I've set up two timers because I'm going to be using two different size batteries. I will have to manually change over to whichever timer I want to use because I couldn't figure out how to link this to a switch in OpenTX. Everything else fairly standard. Okay, down in the multi-radio protocol, you can see the protocol that I checked. Okay, flight modes, nothing changed. Inputs, they're standard, rudder, elevator, throttle, and aileron. Mixes, the first four channels are standard, rudder, elevator, throttle, and aileron. And then I set up logical switches, which are for the flip mode, the rates mode, taking a picture and taking a video. We go to the outputs, all of that is standard, curves, there's nothing, logical switches. I set up four logical switches, LO1 to LO4, they're all sticky functions and they are used to operate the flip rates, take a picture and take a video mode. These functions turn the three position switches into a two position switch. In the special functions you can see I've got the two timers and the reset for those which works on the momentary switch. I've overridden channel three so I can have an armed and disarmed switch. I also then set up a track four Arm rates on. and another one for Arm rates off. and then a sound for the Let's live this bird. the flip function and then another sound, take photograph, and then two more sounds, start video capture, stop video capture, and in telemetry of course there is nothing. So that's all the settings you need to set up to fly this quadcopter. I've included in my video some flight footage from the onboard camera of the quadcopter, which you'll see is not very good, but I wanted to include it to show you that I did set it up so that it can remotely take pictures and videos. To bind the X5C1 you need to go into the radio settings and push the bind button every time and it will bind instantly. As this is a toy grade quadcopter it only comes with angle mode but you can make it flip by flicking a switch. I've put the links in the description below so that you can go to the websites that I looked at to figure out how to configure this quadcopter to my Jumper T60. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.